Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm here on the street, and it's my birthday. At least it was a, like, I don't know, a week ago or so. Uh, my birthday was the 28th of July, but, um, yeah, today I had my family birthday party, and I got some, some cool stuff, and I'll be getting some cool stuff in the coming weeks. Um, sorry I haven't been getting as many videos out as, you know, I would have let on, but, um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've been shifting around my setup here, and I've been busy with band and everything. This is going to be multiple videos, this recording here. I ordered a 1440p 27-inch, uh, QNX monitor, um, my cheapest graphics card on the internet that I'm sure you are all aware of by now, would not be able to handle that at all. Um, just too many pixels for, for it to pump out. Um, but I got a new monitor, not a new monitor, I, I got a new graphics card. To, I'm sorry. I just sat down. The party just ended. I just sat down. That's why I'm not prepared. Yeah, I got a new graphics card as well. And um, yeah, I'm going to be unboxing it just about right now. After I unbox the graphics card, I am going to install it in the computer um, but I am going to do a couple other things. I am going to take the power supply out, which will require unplugging everything, which I would need to do because I'm going to be reforming my cable management um, in that computer. And I'm also going to take the motherboard out because last time, I, I originally I installed the motherboard correctly, then I took it out and I put it back in incorrectly, um, and it's kind of been bending the motherboard, so after a year of it being like that, I kind of want to fix that um, so that the motherboard lasts as long as it possibly can. So yeah, I'm going to take the power supply out, then I'm going to take the motherboard out, which is basically taking everything out, and then I'm going to put it all back in, then I'm going to put the new graphics card in, and we're going to fire up um, just, I guess, Windows and Linux and make sure it works. Um, and then that way, when I get the new monitor, it's going to go right here, and, um, yeah, I'll just be able to plug that in and go. And then I'm going to do a new installation of Windows and an installation of OpenSUSE running GNOME 3 as the desktop manager. Um, and that's going to be my setup for the coming, the following school year. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and unbox that graphics card. Okay, here we are unboxing the graphics card. Sorry that um, I'm holding the camera while I'm doing it, but my sister did not want to help. Even though it's my birthday, she didn't want to help record. So uh, this graphics card came with $75 worth of, um, of money in these three games, but I don't play any of those games. It looks like Planet Side 2, World of Tanks, and Hawken. Um, so yeah, if any of those are free games, then yeah. So, um, here is the star of the show, what I have been waiting for for a whole year. Uh, it is my new graphics card. It is a GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost. And, um, yeah, I got the Zotac model. Two gigabytes of memory, and it has DirectX 11 support. And I am, like, all this stuff that I'm saying, I am very, very happy about. Uh, PCI Express... 3.0, even though I'll be plugging it into a 2.0 slot, it's got two um, dual link DVI uh, slots, and it comes with one DVI to VGA adapter, so I'll be using one of those slots with the new uh, 1440p Korean monitor, and the other slots with my Trinitron, that will always be a part of my setup um, until it breaks. So, yeah, here is the box, and yeah, as you can see, just not a whole lot, but um, it's got all the the tech spec features down there. We're shooting in 1080p. I'm not sure why things aren't aren't uh, focusing quite as easily. But yeah, um, it's freaking awesome. I'll go ahead and slice open the plastic here. Shrink wrap is always fun to to do. Although I do only have one hand today. Once again, I'm sorry. Um, about the one-handedness. One of the things on my list, my birthday list, was a tripod. But I don't have a tripod, because I did not get a tripod. Um, got lots of money and a couple of gift cards. Never really get any actual things that I ask for, other than the big stuff. 
because nobody ever knows, like, what any of it is. Anyway, here we are, and I'm going to go ahead and see how do we open this up. Um, looks like there's a little, a little slot tab thing there that I will slice with my knife as soon as I can get it open. Box is a little difficult to, oh, there we go, there we go. So as you can see, you just kind of do that, and I will flip it back over to the front, and yeah, I like st uh, solid packaging, so that's okay. All right, here we are. We've got, right on the top, we've got the drivers, it looks like. Um, yeah, installation DVD for Windows only, but, you know, Linux should have support already. We've got Dotac Boost Premium, looks like just some some software recommendations from Zotac. Got extended warranty, which is nice, even though I don't usually use that stuff. But then we've got the user's manual for this graphics card. Um, I'm pretty sure I know how to use a graphics card. Um, yeah, it's just walking you through driver installation and stuff like that. Here is the main event right here. This is freaking awesome. Um, inside this this bubble wrap, anti-static. This is anti-static and bubble wrap combined. And inside here is... I can get it out with one hand. The graphics card in all its glory. If I can get it out. There we go. There we go. And that is nice. Um, the, as you can see, it's got the dual fan set up that Zotac cards usually have. Uh, it's got the heat sinks there, copper heat sinks. There's the PCI slots itself. Um, looks like we got that um, DVI port is the one that the VGA converter goes to, and this is also a dual link DVI. Actually, I'm not sure. We'll figure out how that works later. I think this is dual link as well. And then we've got HDMI and Display Port. I think that was in the right order. So yeah, freaking awesome. Um, I cannot even tell you how excited I am to get this. I will never have to wait three hours for a 10 minute video to render again. I will never have to play Minecraft on ultra low settings again. I will never have to worry about screen resolution affecting performance again. I am just, I am so freaking, I, I have been ready for this card. Um, guess I'll set it there for now. And just move this bag over to the side for now. Um, over here on the side we do have a power converter that I will need to use. I believe I'll need to, yes I will. And then we've got the all important um, DVI to VGA adapter there. Um, so yeah, I am so freaking excited about this, this graphics card. I am so excited about their graphics card. I cannot wait to put that in and get the 1440p monitor up and running. But uh, next up, we will be taking this computer apart and putting it back together again. And I am going to go see if I cannot get uh, a camera helper. And after about a half an hour of convincing, after about an hour of convincing my sister to help me record, she has agreed, so we are ready to roll. So first of all, we need to unplug everything which is a fairly simple process. You just unplug this, and unplug this, and unplug this. This can stay plugged in. Actually, no, it can't. Yeah. You unplug this, and you unplug this, you unplug this, and then you unplug this too, and check this out. This is actually the graphics card. This is plugged into the graphics card. So this one actually, this these slots won't be here. They're being replaced with the new graphics card. Um, so yeah, let's go. This way. So now we will take off the screws from this side. Alright, see all this stuff? None of that's going to be visible after we're done here today. And this comes off. Okay. This is where all of the cabling is going to be. 
I'm sure that's very steady, Christian. All right, here we go. So, first of all, we will unplug everything because we're taking the power supply out. Uh, this is going to be a big job. All right, we're going to take the front of the computer off as well. We're just going to go all out. Okay, yep. Oh, ew. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now we're unplugging power from all of our storage devices back here. You can come back here and look at this. This is where the back of our hard drive and two SSDs are. Yeah, there we go. We're just going to unscrew this now. Is it even screwed in? I don't remember screwing it in. Do you think I screwed this in last time? I guess it's... Oh, it's screwed in back here. Alright. Alright. So next up... We probably should not have unplugged this. Here we go. Setting that down there. Alright, get a good overhead view. Going to be taking this out because, as you can see, the screw here is missing, which has bothered me the whole year. So, um, the the reason it's bothering me isn't just that the screw's missing; it's actually that the motherboard has been physically bent that whole year, and I don't like that. All of these these cables are running through the back now. Come back here and uh, take a look at that. All of these cables, I don't know how we're going to put that back on um, now that all those cables are there, but, but yeah, really, it looks so much better. I honestly, I didn't think it would look that much better, but it does. Uh, this time we're going to do this right, guys. <laughs> Last time, I didn't know that you were supposed to do this. And let's be honest. Honestly, guys, you guys give me crap about my cable management. Well, guess what? You can point it at me now. Guess what? The computer turned on. It still had the i7 processor. We don't like to talk about the graphics card it used to have, but it still had all that storage. And it still had Linux. And it still worked. I have been uploading videos for a year on a computer with no cable management because cable management is a little overrated. I mean, airflow, yes. Airflow, it matters. But other than airflow, it really just looks, guys. So, uh,. Yeah, I did not appreciate the crap about cable management. That said, um, we have better cable management now. So I'm going to screw the power supply in here. Alright, so now we're going to uh, run all this cable. So, um, if you move over here, Kristen. Alright guys, as you can see here, I have been routing all of those power supply cables. Move over here so that the light gets through. And uh, as you can see there, how much cleaner does that look than it did before? So much cleaner is the answer. Oh, so stop, much. stop it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it just it looks so much better than it and did before. I'm not quite sure if everything is plugged in. I found out that some things I didn't actually plug in last year. That's why our USB 3.0 ports on the front of our computer have not been working because my motherboard actually does not have a place to plug that. What are in. we doing now? Well, now I am going to quickly run through, make sure that everything back here is plugged in. Pretty sure everything is. So, we are going to. This was our old graphics card. This is what we've been using for the past year. This is our new graphics card. There's a fan. This one has two fans. No. No, no, no. Kirsten. Ah. How much of an upgrade is this? Well, it's going to cut three render three hours of rendering video down into like ten minutes, hopefully. Um, all right, come here. We're gonna put this in now. As you can see, I cleared out two slots. This takes up two slots, not just one, but two. Ready? Oh, you're kidding. No. You're not. kidding. I oh no no no! It's okay. It's okay. For a second, I thought this actually was not going to plug into my motherboard, but it is. Okay, ready? Actually, yeah, here. I think it is working. Alright. Is this the last thing we're doing? Well, yeah, but we're gonna have to do some stuff to get this set up and working. Um, there we go. Okay. Now, I, I think that's plugged all the way in. There we go. As you can see, the little uh, clamp there popped out. So we are 
officially properly plugged in. We're going to put our thumb screws back in here now. We're going to see if we can fish both of these through maybe like here. Um, yes. Okay. One. And number two. Right there. Um, right there. There we go. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, here we go. Plugging in our VGA uh, display here. And the 1440p DVI dual link monitor will be coming in from South Korea shortly. It is in Memphis, Tennessee right now, which is only a couple states over. All states south. Shout out to all of our Canadian friends. Everyone move to Vancouver right now. There we go. All right, look at the screen. Look at the screen. Is it going to turn on? It's turning on. It made a noise. Oh. Okay. That's different than normal. G Force. GTX 650Ti Boost. Alright. So our computer has detected the, uh, you know, the thing. I'm still trying to make sure that it all works right. And right now you might not be able to see exactly what it's doing, but it will become very apparent in, uh, in future videos. I am so freaking excited about this. I'm going to put my computer back together and I am going to run some benchmarks I'm going to render some videos and honestly this is just this is freaking awesome uh, this has been a great birthday and yeah that 1440p Korean monitor will be coming in uh, very shortly hopefully within like two days would be my best estimate because it's all, it's in Tennessee um, so it should get here pretty quick so yeah um, I'm Jacob Kaufman, I'm the of the street, and I will see you later. See ya.